found a friend. <laughs> right, oh my out. god, stop, stop. I'm what are you <laughs> doing? Oh my god, we're gonna fall. <laughs> I'm gonna back us up a little bit. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> Good morning guys! Today we are going on a little trip to a lake on top of a volcano. One of the interesting things about Ecuador is it's the size of Nevada and it has 55 volcanoes and apparently 8 of those are still active right now and 27 are considered still potentially active. The one that we're going to, Kilotoa, is inactive. It hasn't erupted since the 1200s so we're hoping it will stay that way. It's so early. It's 7 a.m. No. It's 6.50 a.m. We are going about three hours outside of Quito. And from all the photos that we have seen of the place, I think this ride is going to be worth it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, walk it around. No? How are you? Good? He doesn't okay? like you. He doesn't like me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're finally here. It's a little cold. You can see my breath. <laughs> and yes, we are on top of a volcano. But Kilatoa has been dormant for a very long time. From what I read, the last time the most violent eruption happened way back in the 1200s. That's the one that actually created this. Just to talk about the magnitude of that, from what I read, it was recorded as the volcanic eruption index of number six. So it created lahars that flowed all the way to the Pacific and scattered volcanic ashes all over the northern Andes. But amidst all of that destruction came about this beautiful lake and we're so excited to be here. This is a testament as to how mother nature can destroy, but at the same time create something beautiful. pretty fast. I am. I'm really good at this. I've never done this before, but apparently I am a natural. It's because you grew this. up on an island. Look how, <laughs> look how fast I'm going. <laughs> Down by the river bend, I look once more. Wait, how does this song go? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. You already but sang wasn't enough. wasn't she like canoeing? Yeah, not you know kayaking. About, right? <laughs> Guys, this is like crazy. We are just floating around on top of a volcano. I hope it doesn't go... Off. No, don't, don't don't say that. Explode right now? No, David, really? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> Wouldn't we know? Yeah, I think you would know. I think it would start bubbling first. Well, then there we go. Roy, starts... over there. I am. No, Roy, more over around. there. Okay. Stop pedaling with that side. Move it more okay. that way. Okay. God. He is so bossy. All it's not my like fault. <laughs> Like, give directions. My arms are getting tired. Your turn. My arm is hurting too. From what? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You know that the, the left side is not touching the water, right? I'm not <laughs> I'm turning it. If you we were the amazing race, you would have definitely won. <laughs> We 
survived. <laughs> didn't even get a little bit wet, not at all. Actually, I think I'm wet. But we didn't drown, so that's good. We got a little winded on our hike down here. That was like a 30 minute hike. So I think we are gonna take a mule up. So hopefully it's safe. So his name is George. So apparently this is George. I'm gonna name that one. I don't Samantha. know. Samantha. 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 I'm gonna write Samantha. Guys, I'm on a horse. Gracias. It's not a horse. I mean a mule. mule. Oh god. <laughs> What's the difference between a donkey and a mule? I don't know. What's the difference be between a donkey and a mule? Do you guys know that? Oh, she's breathing so hard. Is she tired? No, oh, no, 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 we're not going back down. Oh god, girl, no, please, please don't jump off. This mule ride back up the hill is like quite an experience on its own. It's, it's not just like the riding part. There's this like sense of danger as well. Because we're going uphill and the, the pathway is really narrow and there's like dogs, people, mules going up and down this narrow pathway. So it's really, it's quite a, an adrenaline rush. No, 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 turn, turn. <laughs> Samantha is literally making me shit my pants right now. <laughs> Every time she turns the corner, it almost looks like she's about to jump off. See that behind me right there? That is a long drop if my girl Samantha over here decides to end it all. <laughs> end it all. <laughs> Wait, do we know if my mule is actually a girl or a boy? I don't know. So we actually don't know if this is a boy or a girl, but we'll call her Sam from now on. Sam, Samantha, Sam could be good for a guy, and <laughs> Samantha, uh, Sam. Or Georgina. Georgina? <laughs> Nice job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we are back up top, all thanks to this lovely mules right here, Georgina and Samantha. <laughs> really hoping that they do get water. They seem like they were very thirsty. And oh god, okay, we're gonna move up. <laughs> no, there's like horse traffic. Well guys, this has been another great Pinoy and a Jew adventure. We're gonna go drive back to Quito. Thank you so much for riding along with us. And if you like what you see, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button below and also hit the alert so you can get notifications whenever we post new videos. See you guys next time.